Hey, you done here? Okay, I'm testing out my new Comrie uh, camera again, video camera. Uh, that's the box. It says it's 4K. Uh, it says we'll do 4K. Um, they say on the box there 4K Ultra HD. Won't be able to see that. Um, and uh, you know, just just some of this. Uh, that's a little manual. It kind of it's a pretty, pretty complete manual and a little case and USB and has two batteries. Doesn't have an external. Has an external mic input, but doesn't come with a mic for. Uh, let's see. Let's face it. Oh, it's not really. There we go. Wondering if it was gonna do the uh, you know the exposure automatically like at all you know it's supposed to turn on i've got it on automatic and i have it set on full hd which is 1080p i think there, there's two 1080p ses, uh, settings uh, it, the settings inside the little you know the camera itself don't correlate they don't tell you what they are like it doesn't say 1080p 60 frames per second so you're left guessing at what you're really getting unless you can memorize that manual and it, and uh, I can't do that. So uh, um, uh, the first recording I did with it was uh, on a snow. It snowed a couple of weeks ago, and I did a quick recording before I'd even read the manual at all. And I just put it, you know, it was, I think it was already set in 4K, and I just uh, left it all as it was. And it worked pretty good, except for the audio was pretty crappy. It kind of choppy, cut, kind of cuts in and out. And I've read that on the reviews. This is the page where I bought it on Amazon. Uh, if you can read that, it shows that I bought, bought it on uh, January 3rd. And um, um, let's see, it says it's, you know, 4K Ultra HD, 48 megapixels, and that's really why I chose this one. Some of the others, this one's uh, $109.99, still the same price, looks like. Some of them were $129 with a... Uh, a uh, well, uh, you know, a mic that, that hooks into the hot shoe. It doesn't have a real hot shoe, but it's uh, like a, uh, you know, a DSLR or something like that, or an SLR uh, camera. Uh, has a hot, they always usually have a hot shoe on them, like the, you know, like the Canons and Nikons and stuff. It has a hot shoe, uh, but you it doesn't actually connect the mic. You plug it into a, a 3.5 millimeter uh, connector in the back, which is fine for me. Uh, that's the kind of mics I have. A couple of lapels that that are, that are 3.5. I always want to call them eighth inch because that's what they were when I was growing up. Until they started going to, uh, you know, uh, 3.5 millimeter. You know, when everything uh, started being made overseas. But um, um, <clears throat> including this camera, it came from China. But uh, I went and did a lot of research even before I bought it. It has a 13 megapixel image sensor it says that it has a sony image sensor and that was one of the reasons why i thought well a lot of them most of them don't even say what brand image sensor they have and uh but then i kept going okay i knew there was some tricks they do in software with cameras that you know they'll say effective and it, somewhere in here it does say effective 48 me megapixels down in the you know the fine print type of areas where it's hard to find it but uh um the other ones, like I was saying, they, they um, the ones that had the mics with them, they were, well, usually they were 115, 100, I think they were really most of them about 129. I don't think they were any, any for 115 with the mic. And I thought, well, I can buy a mic for that if I need it or, uh, you know, if I don't, because I'd rather use the lapels if they work well uh, than the, the uh, I think they're shotgun mics that they put on them. It, you know, it'd make, it, it'd make sense to use the shotgun mic because it'll, it's more directional. It'll, it'll uh, wherever you aim the camera, it'll get the sound from there mostly, and not get as much background noise. And that's what they look like as a shotgun mic. But I never did really see anything saying if they were or were. In fact, on, other than being condenser mics, that's all they really said on any of the other cameras. And I've seen a couple of video. I watched a few videos about them, and uh, they were saying, "Oh, they're you know they're all made." Uh, one guy. Uh, Sounded like you know what he's talking about. <laughs> he did have a pretty nice, uh, he was showing his studio and stuff. He had a pretty nice setup there, but he was reviewing this camera. And he said that they're all made in the, you know, 
he said, oh, they're all made in the same factory, you know, blah, blah, blah. And that's you, that can be true, but you don't know for sure unless you actually talk to them, you know, I mean, you find out where they're made. But they could be made almost identical and still be made in separate places by separate companies is what I'm trying to say. But uh, anyway, the, the parts, it's, it's pretty easy to tell when you find out what parts are in them. And I've got the camera in my right hand. Let's see if I can, oh, I can use the keyboard maybe to go on down here. The mouse. I'm right-handed and the mouse is... I, I can't get a hold of it now. So I was thinking, well, let me... I didn't have a real plan when I started doing this video. Now, see, there's some of those other cameras. And some of them have... Now, those, those up there are the action cameras. But these here... Um, yeah, 129 with the mic. Almost every one of them. 128, 129, 119. Um, but some of those don't. Some of them have two batteries. Some don't. I can kind of see in the pictures. Oh, and some of them have remotes and some don't. This one has a remote, but it's really... It's not a very good remote, I can say that, because you can mash a button, it won't do anything, mash it again, and it'll do the wrong function. And what I realized on the remote is that it's uh, it's in the box, I have to get it out, but uh, it's uh, the top of it's such hard plastic that, that it will mash. Any, I mean, I finally figured out if I put my thumbnail into it, it'll get the right thing, you know, because it's getting the right spot on these sensors. Uh, but if you're using your thumb or your finger, usually I, would try, I was trying to use my thumb because that's what's ergonomic, you know, the way you're holding it. But um, that, and it's not logical. Uh, you know, it doesn't work like, you know, it looks like a regular remote that would go to anything else. And, you know, you would think the up and down arrows would, uh, you know, go up and down in the menu and, and right and left would be go left and right in the menu. It doesn't really do that. The zoom is not on there like you would think. It's like the, something really crazy. Uh, Another set of buttons. But anyway, <clears throat> that's the brand right there. But yeah, there, uh, it says right there, CMOS 13M image sensor. I went and looked it up and found... Uh, the, it, it does seem to be there is a Sony 13 megapixel sensor. I went and looked up in some supply sites and saw the, uh, the specs. And uh, so we really, it's a 13 megapixel camera. Um, not 48 uh, and I don't I, it's been a couple three years since I read about the, the software they use so it was kind of and I didn't want to I spent so long just looking up the sensor and everything I didn't want to keep looking uh, you know I was either going to buy this or have to spend it about $300 or maybe 275 for a a uh, well it probably would have been a 15 to 20 megapixel Canon or, or something like that you know uh, might end up being it'd either be an older model or a used one too so or maybe a nikon or a canon one but um but the the thing that this thing does do and the thing i wanted it has wi-fi it has usb video out wi-fi i haven't tried the wi-fi yet i tried the usb it works i don't think it will do audio in usb but that's okay for me because i use it to do my live streams i've been using my phone cameras i have three of them and uh, I do the video over Wi-Fi. I use two of, two of the cameras. I do video over Wi-Fi. And then one of the cameras I use, I plug a lapel mic into it and make it a wireless, make it a wireless mic uh, over Wi-Fi. And I'll still do that for my audio. <clears throat> Either that or use my SM58, which is sitting up there. You can see the bag there uh, to the right of the uh, sound gear. That's the bag over the mic, the sure bag. Sure. And... Uh, I use that one I'm not going to move around or anything and uh, but if I'm going to move around then I use the wireless mic uh, but uh, anyway um, the video the video was fine the uh, it does let's see what does it do 15 megapixels something like that on 4k uh, it won't do it won't even do 30 might do 20 or oh I think it says it'll do 2024 I think but you can you can really see, like if you pan, you know you can see it jumping. Uh, you got to pan really really slow, and it was snowing, and it, oddly enough, it really caught the snow very well though. So I was I was happy with that. But you definitely wouldn't want to pan fast or shooting any moving out fast move any moving objects with it in 4K. 
uh, and I didn't really think I wanted to use the 4K for live streaming because it'd be too much data, uh, I think, and it probably wouldn't work well. But actually, it seems to me that when I plugged it in the USB that I had to set to 4K, but it didn't look like 4K in my, my screen. It, uh, I think it, it may have a cap on it. It may not go more than like 720p over the USB, which is what I'm doing anyway, because over Wi-Fi, that's as high as I can go. Uh, with having two one or two cameras even just one it doesn't really matter one or two cameras and then my audio um and that's my phones they just I just the wi-fi chips that that's all they can do uh, if you try to go above 720p then you will get uh, at 30 frames per second though uh, and you still drop some frames but you'll really start dropping the frames bad if you go higher than that so uh let's see on here yeah, it says 48 megapixel. Okay, then it doesn't say frames per second right there. Okay, oh, there it is, the one up above. Yeah, 4K, 20, 24 frames per second, uh, 2.7K, okay, 30 frames per second. So I started to put it on that just now, but I didn't. I put it on the one that's. Oh, wait, and then there's 2K, 30 frames per second. Oh, 2.7, 2K. I didn't see an extra setting. I'm on full HD. FHD, which is supposed to be 1920 by 1080 at 120 frames per second. Oh, I thought it was going to be 60. Wait, there's another one. Full HD, 1920. I don't know. There's there's not that many settings in this in this setup on this. There's it's saying on here it'll do a lot many more set more things than uh, I saw in there. What I saw was let's see if I can remember. Uh, I'm going to try to do a video and show all this stuff if I want to. Hopefully, but um. It's going to take a lot of setup to do that with other cameras looking at this and all that stuff. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, what I remember seeing was 4K, 2.7K. Yeah, and like I said, it doesn't say that. It says names of it, you know, like made up names. Uh, FHD is the only one. that The one I'm on right now, FHD. I'm on that one. Well, which one am I on? 60 or 40, 30 frames per second. I cannot find anything about what frames per second you're shooting in the setup in this camera. I'm shaking because I'm moving my hands. Let's see. Um, yeah, so it looks to me like from what they got listed there, there's actually half of that in the settings. So what I'm really consider what I'm considering here is whether I want to... I just got a few more days where I could send it back. But the audio is so bad... Uh, if I if it doesn't well if the audio is so bad that uh, it's not usable as just a, as a you know a video camera a standalone video camera, uh, so I may want to send it back. <clears throat> so I wanted to get it out again and uh, just haven't had been able to get it out and mess with it like I want like I thought I was you know like I wanted to. So, um, <clears throat> but I may need to send it back because the audio was crap. It doesn't work right. Uh, could even be faulty for all I know, uh, except for I did see a review in here that said the same thing. It says the audio was so bad, and even and they said even plugging in an external mic, which is my next step, is to plug in my lapels. Didn't help. They said they plugged in an external mic and it didn't get any better. So it sounds like it's being. I I, I I went and looked in the settings and I didn't see anything about audio. But what it sounds like is like. Uh, I, did, I've, I used to make sound for bands and stuff, and it's and I'm familiar with that sound, and it sounds like a compressor that's set too tight, and it's clamping down on it, on the audio. And it may have, I thought, well, maybe it's got compression software in it, you know, some auto-leveling, you know. It may very well have, probably not real compression software, but auto-leveling, auto-volume leveling. They call it different things, but uh, <clears throat> that is uh, not working right, overdoing it, you know. And uh, I noticed that when I'm fin like if I when I was during my video the last one I made uh, if I had the camera out further away from me, it uh, it that's when it did that. And I've got the camera like four inches from my face right now, so it may be sounding okay. Um, <clears throat> but if I move, excuse me, <laughs> move it away, it's when I remember it getting bad. So uh, I'm getting choppy. And having a weird kind of like down in a, down, not down in a barrel, not big and boomy, but down in a bucket. If you've ever hollered into it or talked into a bucket, one of them tin buckets. Say if you just happen to be 
looking down into a bucket for whatever reason and someone says something to you and you say something back, you'll hear yourself in a, such a strange, tinny, echoey way. That's what it sounded like. Um, so anyway, and, you know, it's got a lot of functions and that's why I went ahead and got it and kind of took a risk on it. And it had pretty much what I needed and I knew I already had the external mics that I could plug into it if I wanted to. Uh, you know, if I was carrying it around using it like I'm doing right now, but I'm trying to hold still and I can plug in a wired wired lapel mic Hang it on my shirt and then plug it into here and the cables are well, one of them is 16 feet long So <laughs> I would of course I usually keep it rolled up, you know, and I wear it and I, I Put the extra well, I usually have it plugged into my phone and I put the phone in a bag and wear it around my waist a little camera bag, but um and there's their pictures of how cool it is, and uh, there's some more similar items. So these are the ones they consider to be pretty close to similar. See, there's another one, 128, 129, and does it say? On here it says 48 megapixel. The other one doesn't say the megapixel. The next one doesn't say. Uh, but yeah, and I see that other one says it'll, uh, you can, you know, you can stream on YouTube. That's what I wanted it for, uh, streaming on YouTube. Oh, sorry. And that one says, uh, and it just says 4K. Of course, I'm not, there's more information if you go there. And then there's a Canon uh, that's 199. I hadn't noticed that one or I forgot that I've seen it or whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, my arm is starting to hurt from holding still here, even with my elbow sitting on my arm and my chair. But they're pretty similar, but then when you look, when I looked at them they, down in the specs, that one was one of, there's only a couple that said they were 48 megapixel. <clears throat> and it could be that they're, they're out and out line. Uh, yeah, that happens, you know, a lot these days. But uh, it could be that they're, I thought, well, maybe their software is a little different than the others, a little more newer. They're, uh, I guess you could call it up converting software. That's what they I have an old DVR with a AS, AS, uh, with a d digital tuner in it, you know, for to get over the air TV, uh, and that's what it would do. And you can visually see the difference between, you know, or, uh, it was bringing it up to like 720p from regular standard definition TV, I believe. It might have been going up a little higher than 720, but anyway, I can really see the difference. Uh, when I would record something onto the DVD with it, I used it for years until it quit, quit the, the drive quit working in it, but the tuner still worked. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I, um, now there's what it's called, Calmery, K-O-M-E-R-Y, that's the brand of the one I got. When you, uh, Click on the link about the warranty. It just says contact supplier. There's no link to a website, no link to a manual. I did notice that before I bought it, but I bought it. It's kind of 50 50 about, you know, this stuff. It's electronics when you buy it, whether or not they, they'll have a manual or not. And sometimes when it's something, usually I don't, you know, it's usually a lot cheaper of an item that, you know, I think, well, uh, the warranty, yeah. The warnings are so short on these things, it's, it's almost, it doesn't matter if you're going to take that kind of risk. But this, of course, costs more. Uh, that's plenty, that's, a hundred something dollars is plenty of a risk to me, you know. It's not expensive as cameras go, but it's plenty of money for me to be spending. So, um, and there are some answers there on the questions, you know, from the seller. Like, every one of them was answered by the seller, and they seemed, I don't remember, I didn't, what they said in there right now, but. Most of those questions didn't really pertain to the stuff I was interested in, I don't think. But, uh, so, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I've, I've got it. Oh, I think the reviews have changed. I don't remember them being three, yeah, I don't remember the reviews being that low when I bought it. 3.4 out of 5 stars. See, you've got I think the reviews looked a lot better than that. I, I usually don't buy anything with that bad of reviews. <laughs> the next second review is pretty much a toy. Let's see. Uh, so anyway, um, 
Oh yeah, where's that one? Oops. Oh yeah, one that says poor audio. That uh, the night vision was very clear, but audio was not very good. I tried adding three different oh additional microphones, but the audio of the video camera did not improve. In fact, it was worse. Don't use the video camera anymore. I don't use it anymore. So that's kind of discouraging. So we'll see. I'll have to stop this video to plug in the mic because I don't know what it would do if it would, you know, if it would start using it or not. It may have to have it plugged in when you boot it up. What's I think? Oh, and the batteries do not last. Okay. the ba It's got two batteries and it's a darn good thing because they do not last. I would expect them to, I don't remember what I thought when I, what they said or uh, what I, what it says in the ad, in the papers here. Let's see. I mean, on the ad. should say in there in that specs section. I'm not seeing it. Anyway, there. Let's see. How long have I been going? Oh, I've been going way longer than I thought. Uh, the battery's getting pretty low right now. It was full charge when I started it up. It showed full charge. It has been sitting in the box. I charged it and put it away, and it's been sitting in the box a couple of weeks. But it's 21 minutes, so you're going to get 21 to 23, maybe 25 minutes. I don't know. I can't. I can see the battery deal, but I can't see all the letters on the screen because my eyes aren't that good. But um, what they claim on the battery, I didn't see that just now. It's probably right in that section right there. It has, here we go, external microphone support, lithium battery pack, 3.7 millivolts, 1,500 milliamp hours. So, well, um, <clears throat> after it's set in a few days, I'm, I'm, I have got about 22 minutes on it right now. So, <clears throat> oh, and I think you have, yeah, you have to have the, there's not an external charger. You leave it in the uh, camera and plug the camera into a, you can, you know, you can plug it in. They say plug it into the computer or something, but you can plug it into, uh, I use my my phone chargers. I've got three of those phone chargers that, I, you know, you can just plug in a standard USB-C, I guess it is, which, the bigger one, into it. And that, I'm sure that way it definitely charges them up. It'll charge them up in about, I think they're almost charging 30 minutes, and then if you just leave it for an hour, it's fully, fully charged, yeah. Um, but that's, uh, I would expect any decent camera to get 30 minutes to an hour out of the battery. Maybe I'm all wrong, but they, they used to years ago. I haven't had a regular camera in, uh, since the late nineties, early two thousands. So, um, <clears throat> well, not a video camera. Let's see. Only video, only real video camera I've ever had was actually a, professional video camera that I bought on an auction for 350 bucks back in the 90s when it was new it was a ten thousand dollar camera so that was a whole different thing <clears throat> can't compare that to these things you know uh and it didn't run on a battery i mean it could but i didn't have a battery pack for it so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and i'm at 23 minutes so i get more there's still one little square left on the bat battery indicator there's nothing saying like how much time you have left or any of that stuff. So, so <clears throat> um, go ahead and get ready to quit here. And uh, I really intended on doing like a two-minute test of the audio here. My hands hurt so bad. I've been still for so long here. Ah, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. We take the hand out. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't normally do that. Take my hand out of the strap and then i couldn't get it back in it keeps folding around in the wrong direction but yeah it's it's this little manual is you know it's got plenty of information in it but it, you can, me i can't see that tiny microscopic text no matter what i do uh my, you know I, magnifying glass and glasses and i can barely read it so i have not read i read almost of it and of course but I really need uh, I need to get it on the computer, and that's why I was saying a while ago is uh, I didn't finish what I was starting. Is I wanted I was hoping they'd have the manual, the website, their own website with the manual on it. You download the PDF. Most things really do that a lot now. Well, I mean, at least half of them do. But 
I guess since I'm since I'm sitting here with, with this box, I think I can open it. Oh, now oh no, the red lights that record. I thought it was telling me the battery was low. That's the it constantly blinks in the screen when it's recording, which I guess that's helpful to let you know. But uh, that it's recording. Oh yeah, and it has HDMI out too. I haven't tried that yet. I don't have any way to get HDMI into my computer, and there's that little remote and a cleaning rag, and then the USB is laying over there. <clears throat> but uh, it's uh, <clears throat> it's got a lot of features, but uh, the audio's so far the audio's really bad. Um, the zoom is better than I expected because it's not optical zoom; it's digital zoom. And uh, my phone digital zooms are just terrible. Let's see what that does looking at the screen. You can see uh, whether or not you can read that, how big it looks and everything. It's pretty fast. You can't do it slow hardly. Uh, it's kind of on or off. That's it. Which, But at least it's fairly smooth. Uh, so... Um, that looked fine in my video that I was doing, and you can pause. You one good th one thing I kind of like about it is you can uh, hit. It's actually the take a picture button, and you can pause it. And then oh, the battery's gone now. You can pause it and uh, and start it up again without starting a new recording. So I'm going to go now before it quits on me. I may have already. No, it's still going. All right. Uh, bye.